this is one of my wardrobes. One of my wardrobes. Gosh, look at the sun. It's three o'clock in the afternoon and the sun is out. It's beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful evening. It's been a dreadful week, pouring with rain, um, but now it looks lovely. And Anna is on her way here with one of her dogs, Mr. Binks. Um, let me, where can I? I'm going to stay here because the light is so nice. Oh, wow. Um, isn't it different when I don't have a blow dry, everybody? I usually try and have a blow dry once every two weeks or so, but I haven't um, now for a couple of weeks because I haven't had time. I don't know what I did when I did five radio shows a week. I do two now and the time just sort of, I don't know, so much happens. So Anna's here because she has a podcast called A Dog's Life and she wants me to be on an episode of it, so I said yes. And um, let me tell you what I'm wearing. Shall I tell you what I'm wearing? So I'm, we'll talk about put together. I'll put you back up here so you can see what I'm wearing. I'm wearing, remember this fantastic cardigan that um, lots of, oh, might be Anna. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You all right, Manuel? I knew it would be. So what does she say? I haven't got my glasses on, so. What does she say? Just waiting for Jean-Luc, who will be here at 3.30. Thank you again. Oh my God. I've been doing some window shopping. <laughs> she's been doing some window shopping. So she's downstairs waiting for her um, producer of the podcast. So I'll quickly tell you what I'm wearing. It is a real mishmash. I'm wearing this cardigan, this hand knit from, let me remember where it's from because it, it was very controversial. Um, that's right, Kupila. So it's beautiful, beautiful um, hand knit. And I, I will leave the details below. It is not inexpensive. That's the best way of, of um, describing it. But I haven't, I've hardly taken it off because it's like wearing a hug all day. Then I'm wearing my Hobbs. This is not sponsored, but I am an ambassador for Hobbs. My Hobbs lovely woolen A-line dress and my Chloe boots. It's quite 1960s, but I just thought, why not? Why not? I've also started to do this thing where uh, so often people say, usually people say, where did you get this ring? And I always say it was made for me by a friend. She's not making any more. But um, loads of people ask, where's your shirt from? Where's your jeans from? I, um, you know, I do work for brands. I work for Rixo and I work for Hobbs and I work for Lily Silk. And um, those are my three main uh, collaborations. But otherwise, it's all my own choice. But I just realized I'm not helping you guys at all. What I'm going to do, I've been looking at other um, influencers and they usually they have affiliated links with everything they wear. Well, I don't. So what I will just do is tell you where I got them from and then you can look at the website and see if they're up there, whatever I've got. OK, so I'll, what I'll do is I'll just put what I'm wearing. And Myrtle's decided to scratch herself rather noisily. Anna will have something to say about that, Myrtle. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm going to do in the future. I have no nail varnish on, I just realised. I haven't had a, a blow dry. I'm wearing a mishmash of outfits. Have I let myself go? No. Because Myrtle loves me. Myrtle, guess what? We've got visitors. Anna's coming with Mr Binks. Oh yes, Anna. She won't want you up on that sofa. Oh, I just said she won't want you. She won't, Mert, sit. She won't want you up on that sofa. Down. Show her how, just show everyone at home how obedient you are. Mert, down. Down. Well, that's down on the sofa. It must be down off the sofa. Good girl. And sit. Oh, I love you. You uh, stay, Mert. Sit and stay. Paw. Yes. 
Uh oh, did you all see that, everybody? Did you see that? She did something. This is Myrtle waiting for Anna. You wait. She'll go mad. Hello, Binksy hello, boy. Hello. Hi. Hello. You can Hi. see that Myrtle's as well yes, behaved. Myrtle's is, 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 is <laughs> very good. It's good to see you, Myrtle. You're a bit blurred, Joe. You don't... may need to go back a bit, Anna. <sighs> so this is it. This is. I have not shown it. Anna is the first person to have seen this coat. I'm so honoured. I mean, and I am speechless. I love it so much. It's not really what I'm, I shouldn't be wearing. Actually, it does go with this. It totally it does. It does go with it. But it's from Paris, and Anna, who's lived in Paris, said that um, the French have these short sleeves, which are really good on short women. Yeah, absolutely right. It's perfect, Joe. Those pockets are the just pockets mad. Are outrageous, aren't they? Yeah, they are outrageous, but so, so stylish. Everybody, this was my gift to myself. This is my Christmas present. And I just thought, well, there we go. Because I may not be around next year. Stop it, Joe. No, don't I mean, say there's nothing I'm hiding from you, but you just don't know. So if you see something you like... I know, Joe. You know, this is your motto. That is my motto. <laughs> just if you see something you like. Because there's so much stuff I don't like. Mm. Um, so that's it's it. glorious. It, honestly. Do you approve, Anna? Oh, I love it. You know I do. Jean-Luc couldn't be more disinterested. <laughs> Here's Jean-Luc, the sound engineer the sound for the engineer. day. Um, looking very sound engineer. What do you think, Jean Luc? What do you think? I like it. Do I like you? Coat pocket pockets. Yeah, the pockets are just outrageous. There we go. It's got so everyone's it's approval. From, and I'll just take the camera. Yes. It's from 66 in Bolstrow Street, and you know Jane, don't you? Yes, I do know Jane. Little Jane, she's gorgeous, and that's where you get your gold skirt from. Yes, and because Jane's our size, she's tiny. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. sells clothes for tiny people, mm -hmm. and the gold skirts are back in stock. Wow. And wow. silver. Wow. There's gold wow. and silver. Oh, God, that's Silver idea, yeah, the silver know. looks amazing. You should go down that way. Walk past that to. way. I would love to. Oh, Myrtle, it's too wet. It's pouring with rain out there. Pouring with rain. <laughs> oh, my goodness me, there's hailstones. We're going to stay in and we're nice and comfy. I've just been looking at last week's vlog. And hello. Mind you, she's a bulldog. She doesn't care that she's not going out. Last week's vlog... I took you to Beauty Pie's headquarters where I met loads and loads of my friends and also all the Beauty Pie lot and it's a very happy place and it was followed up, Myrtle, if you keep eating my ear I'm going to have to put you outside, <laughs> it was followed up with uh, comments underneath asking what exactly is Beauty Pie? And I know loads of you are members of Beauty Pie. I know loads of my friends are members of Beauty Pie and lots of content creators or influencers, whatever you want to call us, are all signed up to Beauty Pie. But if you don't know what it is, I am on this cold, wet, autumnal afternoon going back to basics to explain exactly what it is and also to offer you a starter kit. So this is the perfect time if you think, I want to find out what this pink happy place it's all about. Uh, this is the perfect time to do it. This is um, a one-off offer, I think. I don't think they've ever done it before. So Beauty Pie is a membership club um, where you are getting luxury beauty and makeup and accessories now. It's growing, forever growing, at more affordable prices. And most of these products are made in the very famous laboratories all over the world that the high-end products come from. Same formulas, same laboratories, and you become a member of the club. And you've seen loads of the members in this flat. You've seen me meet... I, I, I often talk about packages, pink packages arrive downstairs, and I think they are moving amongst us, the Beauty Pie members. Anyway, yes, last week it was fantastic, so I got to meet all the people at headquarters and get to see how their headquarters operates and it's full of happiness well of course it's happy because they're dealing with beautiful products so what i'm offering you today is their starter kit and so for all of you who have never been a member of beauty pie who don't understand what it is this is a great way to start because they have over 400 products and you just think this is so confusing you can listen to people like me and I can explain what I use, but what Beauty Pie have put together is a starter kit, 
with um, three products plus a real bonus membership for you. But you get the starter kit for £29 plus this bonus membership. But what I love about it is for the starter kit, it's all the products that I have shown you anyway. But if you've never used them before, if you've never joined the club before, this is a great way of starting. So I use Plantastic, the green cleanser, or this. Uh, this is from the Japan Fusion range, which is made in a laboratory in Japan. It is their fantastic cleanser. It is their transforming cleanser, which it really is. So this, let me just show you on the back of my hand. This removes eye makeup for me. I, I mean, I don't. I wear quite a lot of um, dark eye makeup if I'm going out. This will also remove mascara, but it's up to you. You may have separate eye makeup remover, but it is so gentle. So you massage this in, and it goes from gel to oil, and then you add water, and it goes to milk. It is so soft. When you wash it off, with water, it is as though you've added moisturizer. That's how gentle it is. So you get the Japan Fusion uh, cleanser. You then get, oh my goodness me, this is so generous. So this is the Pure Healthy Skin range and this is the body cream. And it's got hibiscus, it's got, oh gosh, so many beautiful things, but just, so I don't know about you, in the winter, my skin, my legs are like a cheese grater. Um, my arms that I like to show actually in strappy, silky um, slip dresses, they get very dry skin. This is just perfect. This is like covering your skin in velvet. So have a look at this. Wait for this. I like doing this. Look, look at that. So you get one of those as well. I mean, that is so generous. That is a massive tub of the Pure Healthy Skin Body Cream. And then you get this lip gloss. Now, this is a plumping lip gloss with collagen, and I'm wearing it at the moment. It not only does it moisturize your lips so they don't go, it's like a balm, but it plumps them as well. This is in nude. Mm -mm -mm. I always have one of these in my handbag. I always go for the nude. Let me give it its correct name. So it is, oh, should I put my glasses down? So you know exactly the right name. The Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil. That's right, it's a lip oil. I call it a balm, but it is a lip oil. It is so like food, really, for the lips. So that's what that's your starter kit. But get a load of this. You have in here three months free membership. This would be the equivalent of a 30 pound membership. Free, three months free. So that is your starter kit. Mert, you're gonna come around here, Mert? Come around here, Myrtle, and have a look at our starter kit. I'll actually leave it in the description box. Myrtle, sit. <laughs> if you'd like one of these, just have a look at the description box. I mean, just the best gift ever. Okay, you asked. You asked. I can't. I'm going to have to whiz past the mirror. I can't even let you see me. There I am. This is what I am trying to tackle today. This is one of my wardrobes. One of my wardrobes. And you ask how I fit everything in. I mean, I've pulled all this out. It was all in that cupboard. Just one of my three cupboards. These are others that also have to be tackled. Oh gosh, that's where my yoga mat is. But there we go. So I'm going to sort this mess out. I'm really sorry, everybody, but you asked how I managed to live in such a small place with such a lot of clothes. 
they all, they've all been in the wardrobe. I'm not the sort of person that leaves my stuff everywhere. I'm going to have to talk to you. I'm sorry. I look dreadful. <laughs> I look dreadful. I'm in my... Look. It, look, I do have a vacuum cleaner. I know I have a cleaner. But I also have a... Who, oh, it's not a Hoover. It's a really good vacuum cleaner. That came with the flat. I just thought I'm going to start today by... i tell you why I'm doing this. Gosh, forgive me looking like this. It will become far more attractive and far more organised as it continues. I have a friend coming over to stay. I'm going... So I am going to Mallorca for two days next week to stay with my friend Frankie. Somebody I met in New Yorker, New Yorker, on retreat, is coming to stay here in this flat for two days. And it made me just think, oh my gosh, where is she going to hang her clothes? There is nowhere for her to hang her clothes. There is nowhere for her to even put a suitcase because I have clothes and stuff everywhere. So I just thought, okay, I am settling down today. It's cold, it's wet, and I am going to tidy my apartment. And I need to add, I promise you, look who's here. Look, Mert, you shocked. You shocked at what's happening. Yes. I promise you, <coughs> excuse me, it's dust probably. I promise you I do not have stuff all over. My flat is incredibly neat and tidy. It's just this is what you don't see behind the doors of my wardrobe. So now I'm going to put all the shoes back in their boxes. I've kept all their boxes. I'm going to sort out this bedroom. Just look at this. Yes, Mert. And we're going to crack on. Bet you never thought you'd see the inner sanctum of Shay Good. <laughs> then I've got to sort my face and my hair out and my nails. Mm. Thank goodness I kept the boxes. Thank goodness I kept the boxes and I'm slowly getting them sorted. So you have to admit, this bit, this wardrobe is much better. I haven't found the lid to my Labatan. I have three pairs of Labatan and I'm just stuff. In fact, have I shown you one? Look at these. Not even I can wear these anymore. They're almost impossible and I love a high heel but look it it no wonder I have a bunion but I love them I could never get rid of them I used to have to be carried when I wore these I had to be carried to the venue because I literally couldn't walk there those days are over everybody they are over <laughs> I'm going out to dinner. Oh, you can probably see me better here. I'm meeting Steve Pitron from Island Records because I work a lot with him and a lot of the guests he um, gets onto my show, a lot of the A-listers, like the Robbie Williams, the Macy Grays, Billy Porter's coming on this week, all come through him. So I'm taking him out to dinner and his colleague, the wonderful Tina. And we're going to Carlotta's over the road. So, very excited. First outing of my coat. And guess what, guys? I'm going to wear this coat all the time. I am not keeping it for best. Tory Birch earrings and my Jane dress, little black dress. First outing for that as well. Pouring with rain, but I've only got to just cross the road. Carlotta's, I'm going to take you into the loos. It's amazing.
do you know, I got here early and I used to work in a lot of restaurants. I've worked in a lot of restaurants when I was an actress and it's so theatrical. This moment before it actually starts, before the service starts, is like a theatre performance. Everyone getting ready. I love watching it. I find restaurants that are well run. It's so exciting. <laughs> show you the loo. Look how lovely this is. And I have taken you here before. So, <laughs> and there are people coming in, so I'm going to turn the camera off, but, oops, people coming out, so I can go in. This is where I shall turn the camera off. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh. I can hardly fit into this dress. <laughs> I had the most wonderful, wonderful night. I had um, one lemon vermicella. Is it vermicella? At the end. And that just knocked my head off. But let me get the camera closer. I'm just, the trouble is I'm sat in this beautiful crepe dress and it's gonna be covered in Myrtle's fur. Um, what a lovely night, an absolutely fantastic night with friends. And that was like the first of my Christmas celebrations, really. You know, nice dinners out in restaurants in London. Um, the next one will probably be with my team, my radio team. We'll have our Christmas dinner. And then with my social media team which is Philippe and his girlfriend Katie. Mert, you like Philippe? Yes. Oh we're gonna get hair all over this dress. Um, I love coming back to her but you really need, should we go up on the roof? Should we go up on the roof? All right then, come on. <laughs> Oh, she's taking time tonight. And also she's got a black cat suit on everybody. This is Sarah, senior management. Good show tonight. Excellent show, really well good done, show. And Billy, oh, it's raining, Sarah. Here's Dave. There you go. That's Sarah, senior management. I met her the other week. You yeah. did meet her, you've had another haircut. No, I just washed it again. Oh. I just, and I brushed it down rather than sideways. I've got something get, for you. Get in quick before I your hair starts frizzing. No, my hair, I'm going to have a your blow dry. Your hair's frizzing already, I can it see it. It's already frizzing. Frizzing before my eyes. I'm going to have a blow dry tomorrow. Oh. But I brought you. My inulin. Oh, lovely. Your Thank inulin. You. To try and re recover my soaring cholesterol. Thank yes, you this so is much. for Dave's cholesterol. God, it's pouring, Dave. It's freezing. Well, I've got the window open. Oh. I knew you were about to appeal your cameras. So I got the window open. 
Oh my gosh, really, really cold. Um, great show tonight, and it was good. We also had Billy Porter on right at the top of the show, who was unbelievable. Um, and I might put a little clip in if I've got a clip of him in the studio. So uh, check out Billy Porter, but he was fantastic. Listen, just for you, Billy, I never usually wear makeup at all. Look, she's got a heel on. I've got a heel on, and I'm 68, and I'm showing my knees. <laughs> <laughs> Great show, all in all. This is the first time I've seen Dave for a week. Yeah. Had a good week? Well, the thing is, no, I don't pick you up during the week. I go to bed much earlier, so I'm going. To, uh, I'm working days now and going to bed earlier. Are you working days? Well, yes. Not. I'm finishing before, like around what, well, eleven o'clock at night, or whatever. But so I'm forced to stay awake until now to pick you up Saturday, Friday, Saturday. So I'm falling asleep at the wheel because um. Now it's past my bedtime. It's set, you're like me, Dave. So I'm back on a proper daytime timetable. So only Fridays and nights, so Fridays and Saturdays are late nights. And I really have to psych myself up. Better, don't you? Do oh my God, I sleep so much better. I feel so much better, Dave, don't you? Yeah, I do. It's because our, our what, circadian, circadian, whatever it's called, the, the, the circadian rhythm is back in the sink. Yes. You probably go to bed about. You probably go to bed around ten o'clock at night. Oh my gosh! I go to bed at ten o'clock at night, and I sleep through until six. I always wake up early because so I. Good at hours. Now. Yep. Before you were getting three hours. I was getting three hours a night for about two years, which so is not. Me, good. I mean, I'm going to bed now. I used to go to bed around four o'clock in the morning. Now I'm going to bed around midnight. I know you were truly nocturnal, like Total just vampire, like, yeah. like yeah, you were a vampire. Anyway, everybody, I'm going to have a good old gossip with Dave. So I'm going to turn this off now and say farewell. Can I just say, if you want to become a Beauty Pie member, if you're not already, or if you want to gift somebody the starter kit, I'll leave all the details below. Um, everything that I've worn in this vlog, I'm wearing a Bella Freud gold dress at the moment. Um, I will list underneath. I'm going to start that. They're not affiliated links. I'm not being paid to wear these clothes, but you often ask about them, so I will leave them below the vlog. Please subscribe, please, because I just want a silver plaque on my wall, and I'll only get one if I have a hundred thousand. And I don't think I'm ever going to get there. I'm just literally stuck on sixty point seven. But anyway, try and get someone to subscribe for me. That would be the best Christmas present ever. Um, and from Dave and myself, we will see you next week. Say goodbye, Dave. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.